Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Ben Jordan K6 Scourge of the Sea People and with me I decided to let my friend join in uh, on commentary and observation so I don't just keep looking at her and giggling. So uh, yeah, she's never played this game before so yeah. Yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. Very cool. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Okay, so let's see if we can go back to the fisherman and get his translation on the inscription that we just wrote down. I'll pretend we didn't heart, uh, wreak havoc on that island. Captain! Um, yeah, I have- ooh, it's a note! You've written down the Greek text from the inscription in the Oracle <coughs> Island Cave. Take a look at this. Can you tell me what this says? What did you read this? It was written at the base of a statue in a cave on Oracle Island. Very interesting. It says only those who can quench the thirst for knowledge may summon the Oracle. Great. An ancient Greek riddle. I wonder what it means. Well, thanks for translating it for me. Not a problem, boss. Gotta get back to sailing the boat. I don't think we're actually sailing, are we? I mean, we're kind of... Maybe he's just like going around in circles. I don't know. I mean, it looks like we're moving, but... Um, anyway, so the answer to the riddle is just to take it literally. Like when it says, uh, only those who can quench the thirst for knowledge. That, that literally means get some water. Now, we've got this cup here, and we got seawater, but I'm just gonna save you some time and tell you that seawater is not gonna work. <coughs> you, you can't drink water. Yeah, because you can't seawater. drink seawater. I mean, you can drink it, but you'll die. It's it's not very thirst-quenching. You'll just get thirstier. So what we want to do is put it in the still. Mm. Thankfully, we have it on this boat. We're very lucky. You pour the cup of salt water into the still and, and place the now-empty mug into the receptacle. After a few minutes, the distilled water collects in the mug. Yay! Oh my god, we're almost halfway through the game. Wow. Okay. Captain! So, yeah, plot a course. To Oracle Island. Okay, once more. Hopefully our last time. Or, well, I just did a... I did a recording of this part earlier, but the computer lost all the data, so I feel like I've been going back and forth here like a billion times. But, you don't know that. This is just the second time we've been here. Anyway. You pour some of the fresh water onto the statue. Ooh! Whoa, it worked! Would you like to voice it? I uh, don't know. Okay. Uh, go for it, go for it. <laughs> Greetings, Mort. Hi. I sense that you, <laughs> like <laughs> others before you, have come seeking knowledge and truth. Tell me what it is you seek. Okay. The voice is different than last time. I know. Well, I, I was laughing. <laughs> it's a little more ready. And... Can we cop a feel? No. <laughs> okay. You gotta try. Miss, I have to try it every time. Come no, on. No, it's, it's healthy. It's, it's, <laughs> it's really healthy to cop. It's, healthy, it's healthy to admit it. You know? It's the oracle. She's sitting on some sort of, It's sexual harassment. So it is. <laughs> She's sitting on some sort of tripod and is carrying a branch in one hand and a bowl in another. Oh, and she appeared out of thin air, too. Okay. Do you hang around in caves like this often? Only when summoned through this statue. It's like the best pickup line ever. I know. He's a real flirt, he is. I have some questions for you, Oracle. Then ask them. How is it that you can speak perfect English? I do not speak English, mortal. I communicate through the power of thought. This is why it appears that I am speaking your language. Oh, so it's a sort of ethereal babblefish thing? I do not know of this babblefish of which you speak. <laughs> uh, never mind. Nice going, Ben. 
So what exactly does an oracle do? I give spiritual guidance and deliver prophecies, events which are yet to come. So you're basically an ancient psychic. Yeah, no comment on that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you tell me my future? You are part of two prophecies, one which has already come to pass, and another which will come to pass very soon. No kidding, what are they? The one which has already come to pass tells of the return of Forsites, yeah? Uh, Forsites, and, yes. and the one who will come from the west, uh, the one that has yet to occur, tells of the disturbances around the world. Paranormal disturbances? Things which have been taken. They are being hoarded in, a se uh, in secret and as a result are causing unrest. What sort of things? Objects of great power and meaning. Your path will soon cross that of the one collecting these objects. Beware, for your trust shall be betrayed by one you hold close. That doesn't sound too good, but... Okay. You will meet your darkest hour. I cannot say more. That's probably for the best. Oh, spoilers, I see. <laughs> Do you know anything about the sea people? Ah, uh, you wish to know about the Forsites. That's them, yeah. I have heard a prophecy regarding the Forsites, one that has already come to pass. It is said that they would lie undisturbed under the Aegean Sea for nearly one and one thousand years. But something would disturb them and cause them to seek the surface, bringing land-dwelling men down to their home as punishment. What is it that disturbed them? Something was taken one of the many items that have caused unrest. It is also said that one from the west would come and seek the lair of the Forsites. You must travel to the Vanishing Island. There you will find what you seek. Vanishing Island, hmm? <laughs> what and where is the Vanishing Island? Well, I take it's an island that vanishes. It is an island shrouded in mists, not far from here. At times it is clear to the eye, at others it is invisible. Seek this island, for there you shall find what you need to know about the location of the Forsites city. That's all for now. May the fates guide you on your journey. Nice. Okay, nice. then. I like how she says, uh, an island shrouded in mists, because that's sort of a direct quote from King's Quest VI, because I'm dorky enough to memorize stuff like that. I like your, your breathy, sexy voice for the oracle. <laughs> <laughs> like, breathy, sexy voice. <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean to be sexy, just breathy. <sighs> See, I, I, I couldn't, I didn't want to screw up your oracle voice, so. Oh. I, I thought you were the best, oh, the best read for it. I'm honored. But I, I don't know about making an oracle sexy, that seems kind of <laughs> wrong. <laughs> uh, anyway, we need to go to Vanishing Island. Hey, Captain. Um, I like that guy. Vanishing Island. I spoke with the oracle. So she does exist. Yeah, she mentioned something about finding an island that vanishes. Do you know what she might have been talking about? There is an island nearby which might be the one you speak of. On some days the clouds cover the island, making it look like it has disappeared. It sounds close enough to what she said. Let's hope. There is something you should know. Legends say that on this island there is a labyrinth, and inside is a vicious beast. You mean a minotaur? Yes. Now, I do not believe in legends, but with the sea people and the oracle being real... I see what you're saying, but I think I'll take my chances. He's a brave lad. He is a brave lad. I think we should go to the island of the minotaur. A.K.A. the Vanishing Island. Let's go to the island where the Minotaur is supposed to live. That sounds like fun. <laughs> I'm glad I'm staying in the boat. Well. He's gonna sail off without us. <laughs> Wouldn't he? you? I would. <laughs> off the horizon, you see your boat sailing away. <laughs> uh, yeah. I like the music. It's very ominous. Yeah. Very ominous. Yeah. We're gonna come back and the boat's gonna be gone. Okay, what's this? How do you pronounce that? Dice? 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 
It's a small elevated platform with three rocks on it. They look like they have been deliberately placed. Something about huh? how long? What how long are these videos? Oh, I'll just end here. Something about this gives you the creeps. You'd rather not touch it. Come on, Ben. Don't be chicken. All right, fine. Well, we will explore this creepy island next time. So, bye for now, everyone. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>